Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a highly requested video for you guys and it's all going to be about loose setting powders. So these are drugstore ones. Since I compared the Makeup Revolution banana powder to the Ben Nye banana powder, a lot of you asked for like a drugstore loose setting powder comparison. So here I've got three of them. These are the most popular ones that I've heard about and I've seen people talk about and especially the W7 one, a lot of you guys wanted a video on this so I'm just going to talk to you guys um, about these and I'm going to also show you how they apply on the skin and what my thoughts on them and what rating I would give them so the ones that I'm going to be talking about today is first the Morphe brushes one, this is the banana powder then I've got the LA Girl Pro powder in again, banana and then I've got the Banana Dreams Powder by W7. Uh, I got the LA Girl one and the Morphe one on the Beauty Bay website and then the W7 was off Amazon but I'll leave links to them in the info box. So I'm just going to jump straight into this video. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the W7 Banana Dreams Powder and this was around £5 I believe and I did use this one on my right underneath my right eye. Now I do have to say that I really really love this one because it really um, does brighten and it does, it's very similar to the Ben Nye Banana Powder in terms of how it like smooths out your skin and it doesn't dry the skin out and it does a great job at setting your under eye and any areas on your skin and making sure that it stays put. I really like the fact that it brightens but doesn't grow grey on me, it kind of warms up my skin and it looks really really nice so I have to say I do really like this. The next one I use is the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow, it says on the back, and I use this on my left under eye. So those are the powders together, and I would say they're kind of similar, but the texture's a bit different. This looks chunkier, but when you feel the two, the LA Girl feels the softest. It feels very luxurious, but the it feels more softer than the W7. The W7 one is still soft, but this one does feel a lot softer. I've also realised that this makes my under eyes um, or even like my out mouth area look much brighter than the W7 one. It's not as warm. Uh, I do like it under the eyes. I do like, you can definitely see how this eye under eye is much, a bit brighter than this one. But when I do apply, I don't have it around my mouth area today, but when I do do that, it does kind of go a tad bit greyer. So you have to be careful with that if you do have, you know, like pigmentation or anything like that it will kind of go a bit grey if you put, uh, put too much. And then the final one that I used is the Morphe Brushes one, this is the banana powder. And then the final one is the Morphe Brushes one, this is the banana powder. And I did, and again I did get this from Beauty Bay for $8.50. And I was kind of surprised at the, at the price of it, I thought it was quite, um, it's pricier than what I would expect from Morphe because even their concealer is like $4.50 or something. Um, but this, this is my least favourite out of the three because well, if I compare all three powders, I'll just let you guys see. So if you guys can see, the Morphe Brushes one, which is the one here, is much, much yellow in colour, I would say. I don't know why it's like that, but it's just so much yellow. But then when you apply on the skin, it's not as yellow. And then I did go on to feeling the powder, and it feels... It looks very refined and thin, but when you, you go like this it, between your fingers, it feels very sandy. It doesn't feel very soft like the LA Girl one and the W7 one, especially the LA Girl one feels so much more softer. And I don't really like that, it feels, it doesn't feel like, I don't know, even when I look at it moving, it, it just looks like, it feels like sand I would say, that's what I would say. And I do have to say that the Morphe one does like to separate a bit more and it does make it look much greyer in colour and I don't, I'm not too fond of it, like it doesn't look bad right now but throughout the day it will kind of separate and especially under the eyes so I don't know but right now it doesn't look that bad whilst when I put the W7 one it does really warm that area up and it doesn't look as grey and then in terms of how much product you get the W7 one has 20 grams the LA Girl one has 5 grams and the uh, Morphe one has 10 grams and I definitely love this one. You get much more product for the price you pay. It's much cheaper. It's the cheap, cheapest out of the three actually. And um, I just love how the packaging comes and it's just a good drugstore loose setting powder. 
Um, it's really good. I really like this one. The second one that I really, really like is the LA Girl one, and the third one I would say is Morphe. I don't know if I would still use this. I'm not too sure. I just have to keep trying it and see how, maybe like using a damp beauty blender and see how it works with that. I don't know, but I do like these two. Um, it's and especially the W7 one. All of you guys I've been rec recommending this one, you guys are so right, it's a really good powder, especially for the price. So just to summarise between the three, the LA Girl one and the uh, W7 one feel very soft and they apply very nicely on the skin and um, I, do li I do like how velvety the LA Girl one feels. This one feels really soft as well and also applies very nicely and doesn't go as bright but still makes the skin look really, look really really soft. And then the LA Girl one is really nice, it does brighten a bit more so if I do want a bit more brighter under eyes like the Kat Von D loose setting powder I would definitely compare that to it. The LA Girl one is more comparable to the uh, Kat Von D loose setting powder and the W7 is more comparable to the... Um, Benai Banana Powder, I would say they're definitely dupes. And then the Morphe one does feel a bit sandy, I would say. It feel, it looks very, very thin, like very thin refined powder, but it doesn't feel very nice, I would say. And it does go a, a tad bit grey in some areas, like around my mouth area. It does definitely brighten the under eye, but it doesn't help creasing, I would say, as much as these two do. So I would say these. this one's my least favourite one. This powder I would definitely give a 10 out of 10, the W7 one. The LA Girl um, one I would give like a 9 out of 10. I don't know why I'm giving a 9 out of 10. It is a 10 out of 10 actually because I just feel like I'm saying 9 out of 10 because I prefer this one. But it's a good powder so if you guys want to check this one out it's a really good one. And I would give the Morphe one like a 5 out of 10. I'm really not fond of it I have to be honest with you guys so yeah not too fond of it so yeah that's the end of this video if you guys like this type of videos where i compare a bunch of products let me know i definitely had fun trying these out and i'm so obsessed with under eye setting powders and loose setting powders so um it was definitely fun to film this video for you guys and i'm really really happy that i've got this one now in my collection make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and if you liked it if you're new to my channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you then bye guys